Hi guys, I have a real intense eyebrow going on right now and like no other eye makeup and no lipstick. It's looking crazy. But also my face is pale. I feel like I need some bronzer. But I'm doing a review on something else and it doesn't matter. But today is the first day in Easy Eye Week featuring... I was trying to figure out what palette to do and then this just seemed like the obvious choice. The Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. If you don't know what this looks like, where have you been? Um, but this is what this palette looks like. Super warm, lots of reds, and orangey colors. <laughs> but that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to really organize this video a little bit differently. Um, I did organize a video like this not too long ago where I was like sort of talking, but also like the thing was happening as I was telling you what I was doing, just like to save time. So it's not... 30 minutes of me just sitting here putting eyeshadow on. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm also going to use like a little mirror like this to do my eye makeup. So hopefully I stay in focus and I'm not um, like leaning into my mirror and everything cause I can't see myself if I take my glasses off. But that's just like stuff that I'm trying out. So hopefully it works out. If you like, I guess the way that I put this together and everything just let me know. I think it's gonna be a lot better. But anyway, this is the Easy Eye Week day number one featuring the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I've done two other ones like this. One with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, that was the first one, and then the Lorac Pro 1. I just cracked my finger, that was weird. Um, and the second one was the Lorac Pro 1. I have a bunch of other palettes so I can do more of these. They usually happen... <sighs> the last one was probably over two months ago, so I'd say like two to three months ish. I feel like that's like a good time, but anyway, right now. Um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance. So for this one, I'm going to sort of try to recreate a look that I have done previously, and it was all matte, and it was real nice. So that is sort of what we're going to be doing today. Let me sort of get out vaguely all my brushes so I can... Um, see what, what ones I want to use. I don't really know what brushes I'm going to use, but you know, we'll do it on the fly. Alright, so, clang, 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 as I lay all the brushes down. But like I said, we're going to go in, um, to the matte colors. I might use a shimmery inner corner highlight, but for the most part, we're going to use some matte colors. It's going to be real warm, it's going to look very nice, and... Let's just kind of do it. So for the first color, the first colors I'm going to go into are going to be, I'm going to say a mix of like these three colors. So golden ochre, burnt orange, and raw sienna. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take those colors and I'm going to put them right in the crease. I'm going to blend them a little bit up, like a little bit above the crease, kind of blow it out a little bit. This is going to be more of a smoky look. But yes, I'm going to put those three colors, just sort of mix them all together. And I'm going to put that right into the crease. All right, so next I'm going to go in with... I'm trying to remember what I did before, and I think this was it. Um, this orange color down heel. Down heel. <laughs> the orange color down here. I'm going to go in with this one, uh, Rialgar. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. So that one right there. And I'm going to put that in my crease, like directly in the crease. I'm not going to blend it up too high. I'm going to pull it up just a tad, um, but I'm not going to blend it up too high. I'm really going to sort of concentrate that in the crease and sort of blend it together with the colors um, that are already there, the colors that I put down first. Then I'm going to go back into the shade. Oh, these shadows are powdery, if you didn't know. Um, they do kick up a lot of powder, but I don't, I don't really mind that. I'm going to go back in with the shade of Golden Ochre, so the lightest of the first three shades that I used, and I'm just going to lightly blend over the border of the orange that we just put down. If your eyeshadow starts to come down a little too far, like on the outsides here, like for me personally, um, if I look at the mirror, if I look, if I look at the mirror, if I look at my face, um, it's coming down a little too far on the sides. Totally fine. I'm going to clean it up later, so don't don't worry about it. You can always clean it up a little bit. Um, or you could totally do your eye makeup first. I really just don't like doing that. I don't know why. I just can't. I just don't like it. Unless it's getting like, unless I know it's going to mess up my face makeup, then I'll do it first. But in all honesty, I do my face makeup first all the time. Also, I forgot to put my hair back, so I'm going to do that. Ugh. I'm going to do that right now. Because it's getting in the way a little bit. And it's wet. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll wait to take the uh, thumbnail until after my hair dries. 
but it's a couple hours and I don't really have that kind of time. Uh, yes, so next I'm pretty sure this is what I did. I went in with the shade Red Ochre right here, so like the darkest, not the darkest shade, but like the dark red on the bottom row. And I'm going to put this directly into the crease. I'm not really going to blend it up too much, and if anything, I'm going to blend it a little bit down onto my eyelid. So that is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for the orange that we just put, and I'm going to use the same brush. And yes, I'm going to go into Red Ochre and just put that right into the crease. Then I'm going to go back into that orange shade and I'm going to just sort of blend that into the red that I just put down. Then again, we're going to take those first three shades we originally put on our eyes. So golden ochre, raw sienna, and burnt orange. And I'm just going to kind of go into all three of those and run over the border again. This is really all about blending because the colors are really pigmented, like they're really, it's a lot of colors going to get laid down and you're using a lot of different colors. So it's really going to be all about the blending to make it just look seamless and cohesive. Well, as seamless and cohesive as you can kind of make it look. Now we're going to deepen up that outer V just a little bit. I also remembered like as I was doing this that I forgot to lay down like a, usually I go over like my eyelid and up to my brow bone with like this first shade, um, Tempera. I'll use, I would have used that, but I totally forgot. Not that it really matters, but just if you were curious, that is what I would have done if I would have remembered, but I didn't. Now we're going to, what are we going to do? I think we're going to go in with, um, let's go in with Venetian Red, so that color right down here. And I'm going to put that on the outer V of my eye, eh, outer V, outer third-ish, um, well, outer V, outer third-ish. And that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to blend that on the outer corner of my eye, sort of up into what I already, up into the, like the eyeshadow that I've already laid down. And about to eh, maybe say half, half of my eye. You'll see. <laughs> You're watching it right now. So I actually brought it in a little bit further than I had intended, but there's a reason, I promise. Next, we are going to really deepen up that outer V now. Not just say we are and then, and then not actually do it. And let me find a different brush. All right, we're going to take the color Cypress Umber. So this last is really dark brown. And we're going to use that to deepen up the outer V for real this time. So I'm just taking that um, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the, again, the first three colors. So Golden Ochre, Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange. And we're just going to blend over that border yet again. So now's the time where I'm going to clean up that outer uh, corner. I'm not going to make it super sharp, but more just want to make sure the eyeshadow is not coming down too low. So I'm going to take that first shade, uh, Tempera, and I'm going to just sort of take that on. Well, sort of. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take that on a brush and just sort of run it under. If I say sort of one more time. I'm going to take it on a brush, and I'm going to run it under my eye like you see me doing right now, just to clean up that outer edge if any eyeshadow came down a little bit too far. All right, I'm also going to take that same shade that I just used to clean up the outer corner, and I'm going to take it just on a flat brush, and I'm going to pack it on just the inner, like, third of my eye, just to brighten that up so it's a little bit of, like, a gradient effect. If you want to go back in with that Venetian red color that we used on most of our lid, like that reddish pinky color, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that and just run it over the border of that light shade that I just put down just to make sure everything is really blended together. Now we're going to do bottom lash line and we're basically just going to sort of repeat what we did on the top. So those first three shades, Golden Ochre, Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, I'm going to take them all, mix them together, and run them along my lower lash line. I'm going to clean up that outer part of my left eye, so this one, uh, just a little bit so it you so it matches the uh, right eye because the shadow came down a little bit too far again. Next we're going to go into that orange shade Rialgar and we're going to just take a little tiny bit make sure you tap off the excess so it doesn't get insane and we're going to run that along the lower lash line as well. All right then we're going to take mm, a little bit of red ochre so the dark red that we used in the crease and we're also going to run that under the lower lash line. And last, at least for the bottom lash line, we're going to go in with that Cypress Umber shade, the dark brown that we used on the outer V, and we're going to take it on a pencil brush, and just a little bit, and we're going to run that along the very outer edge of the lower lash line. 
Okay, so all we have to do is highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. And for the brow bone, I'm going to go in to that first shade, Tempera. And we're going to use, it's like, um, it's like a satiny finish, so it's not shimmery, but it's not completely matte. And I'm going to use that color to highlight the brow bone. And then the only shimmery colors I'm going to use for this look are the two shimmery colors in here, Vermeer and Primavera. And I'm going to mix them together, and I'm going to use those colors to highlight my inner corner. Since everything else is matte, I really just want to have a little bit of a shimmery inner corner. All right, now I just have to throw on some mascara. I'm going to do that off camera, but I think I'm going to use... Um, I think I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and also the Essence Lash Princess. So I'm going to use these two. Um, this on top and bottom lashes, and then this one I'm going to layer on my top lashes. So I'm going to do that, and then... Um, we'll come back and we can take a closer look at, you know, what just happened here. <laughs> Alright, once again, I forgot to hit the record button. I'm the worst. But my battery was almost dead, so I had to charge it for a second, so I did mascara and I did lips. So my lips are the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. And then, yeah, so I'm going to zoom you in and we'll take a closer look. Also having a real good lash day. That ma Those, like, two mascaras were a good combination. Okay, so here are the eyes up close, now that we're up close and personal. Um, so that is what it looks like. It's as blended together as I think I find kind of could have made it. I mean, I think it looks, I think it looks good. And with these shadows, the blending, and this particular look, like the blending is kind of, kind of key. But that's what it looks like up close. Alright, now I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see for the end of this business. But that is the finished look of Easy Eye Week number one. I think it turned out pretty much like it did the first time I did it. Like I've said before, but I haven't said in this one yet, um, I don't, I don't use like eyeliner in these videos, just just so you can see like how the shadows work by themselves, and you're not like adding a giant wing that's sort of covering up half the eyeshadow, and like you're more attracted to the wing than maybe the way the eyeshadows look on their own. So as far as easy eye weeks are concerned, I don't use any eyeliner or anything like that, just the shadows and mascara. And that's all. So you could totally add a wing. The last time I did it, I had a wing and it looked amazing. But I, for, you know, continuity, I don't use eyeliner in any of these videos. But you could totally add some if you wanted to. That is going to be it for this video, though. I hope you liked it. I really like the way it turned out. I'm glad, I'm glad this turned out this way. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for the next two days yet. I'm, like, seriously pre-filming this. It's not even August yet, right now. And this won't even be up until, like, mid-August. So I'm, like, ahead of the I'm ahead of it I'm getting ahead of the game so yeah I really like the way it turned out but that's gonna be it for this video for real like we're done now if you are newer just haven't subscribed yet I will leave the subscribe button right over there for you please subscribe it'll really help me out I'll also leave my latest video up there for you if you're interested again this is easy eye week so today is a Monday the next videos will be coming on Wednesday and Friday if you have never seen one of these weeks before but I hope you like this video thanks for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday bye guys